Today on Don't Drink the Kool-Aid, we're going to discuss the whole situation with um, Brother Jay Rue over at Cas Tech and the situation with the security guard. Been reading a lot of responses to the situation on Facebook and different um, social media outlets, and quite frankly, I'm appalled at the responses from our people and the lack of compassion, the lack of understanding, and the lack of wisdom in their knowledge of the situation and their uh, practice of judgment. First thing I want to bring to light is the security guard. The security guard immediately after the situation went to Twitter to, you know, do his little rant about how he felt that he was caught off guard and he got back up, called J. Rule pussy, blah, 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 X, Y, and Z. Um, same security guard was working at King High School, was recently relieved of his duties at King High School because of some similar incidents where he wasn't getting along with the students, he wasn't getting along with some of the faculty, and as well, he wasn't getting along with some of the co-workers. 22 years old. Transferred to Cas Tech, and two weeks later, he has a situation with this young black man who's one of the star players on the cast team, coincidence, I think not. And he asked J. Rude to remove his hoodie on his way out the door into these weather conditions. I mean, he's on his way out the door, so he's putting his hoodie on, getting ready to leave the school. Uh, J. Rude, for whatever reason, doesn't remove his hoodie. The security guard reaches out to grab his hoodie off of him. They exchange some words. The security guard is antagonizing, following him, uh, even gives him a little a chest bump shove. And after that, J. Rue turns around, gets behind him, and suplexes him on his head. And um, you can only see parts of the video, but they had two videos. And the second video shows a different perspective. After reviewing the second video, I was like, oh, wow. You know, we probably need to look into this a little bit further. And then after that, that's when other information came out. Kim Worthy has picked up this case, and she has since said that she bought to charge him with the kitchen and the sink. And people are like, yeah, you know, that he need to be taught a lesson. But a felony is not a lesson. A felony is a lifelong scar that will follow him and prevent him from getting a job, prevent him from getting assistance, prevent him from going to school. It will, it will kill him. It would leave him a dead man walking. And I don't think America understands the concept of felony. You know, um, and for this young man to be in a situation where he's defending himself rightfully so against a security guard and not an officer of the law, I think this is ridiculous. I think that we are helping condemn a young man to a sentence of death. And some people might say this not that serious, but... I'm not talking from a person that don't know. I'm talking from a person that knows that once he has this on his record of violent crime, it's over with for him. He can't get food assistance. He can't get a job. He can't get uh, assistance for schooling. He can't get a lot of things. So before we condemn this young man, let us look at it from a whole wider perspective. Um... This is going to be a continuing video blog called Don't Drink the Kool-Aid, and it's specifically geared towards the black perspective in our community. And I'm asking that all people, all walks of life, you know, uh, put their input up into it. But, you know, let's open it up for discussion. How do you feel about it? Do you think J. Rue should be condemned to a life as a felon because of this situation? And how do you feel about the powers of a security guard? And keep in mind, we just let go George Zimmerman. Keep in mind, we just let go six uh, security guards that killed a black man in Northland. Keep in mind, we just let a uh, young uh, white teen go that killed four people driving under the influence. No nothing but probation. Keep in mind those things. almost forget, don't drink the Kool-Aid.